Hey everybody, Quilt Marine here. So we're still working on our Kaleidoscope Quilt. <laughs> Say that fast five times. So we're working on our Kaleidoscope Quilt and we got done with doing some of our hexagons, all right? So I know I did, probably didn't explain it very well in the last video on how it goes on the wall. So as you're looking at it, yeah, these things look really great, but putting them on the wall like this is kind of crazy, right? You have to think about putting a row together. So when you're putting a row together, get rid of these parts right here, right? We're just gonna put that down, all right? So the next one over would be this way, right? All right, then the next one would be this one. We're just gonna have three for an example. So you have a row. This is the row that you would work on right here, all right? When we're putting strips together, okay? So it'd be like that. This one like this, eventually, and this one like this. I hope I'm explaining this okay. All right, so on your display wall, this is how it would be laid out, okay? But as you put it together, all right, as you put it together on the wall, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna put this one to this one. We're gonna put this one to this one, and so on and so on. And then on the next row, we do the same thing, okay? We'll pull these off. This would be a strip right here, all right? So on my trusty dusty ironing board, we have what I just laid out, a strip, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this strip together for our display wall, all right? So we're gonna start down here on this end and we're gonna take it to the machine. We're gonna take these two, just like this, to the machine. Okay, so now we have our two pieces here at the machine. So remember on my triangle right how we have i don't know if you can see that the square edge so it was leaving oh let me put on the white part right here square edge right we are there are all the other edges are pointing so the reason why i like this one is because it leaves my square edge and when i'm putting my block my um pieces together i just put this flat square edge right along the edge there and then we're going to run we're going to put a quarter and seam on here Keep it simple, all right. I I know you. I know you see the dog ears. I don't. For some reason, sometimes I'll, I'll take them off, and then sometimes I will leave them on. It's just you know, it just depends on how I feel. And now I'm just gonna leave them on. All right. She so got our, our seam on, right? And we, we would press this open, and it would straighten out. Okay. Let's let's put one more piece on. Okay. Let's take a look at that. This is the third piece. It goes like this. Flat edge. Let's put this on here. Flat edge along the edge. Okay. Quarter inch seam. Keeping it simple, okay? We don't want to scare away new quilters. We want new quilters to, to dive in. Go, in. go dive into the deep end. There's no worries. In case you, in case you noticed, I, I, I haven't backstitched on these because, <laughs> ask me how I know. Sometimes it, I'll have one out of place and I have to come back and use my trusty dusty seam ripper and, you know, to take it apart. So I backstitch on the long end and not the short ends, okay? When I go this way, I know I've got them all in pace and they're supposed to be what they're supposed to be and then I'll... I'll backstitch on the long strip, but on when it's coming, when it comes to putting these two together, no, I won't do it because I know I'm not that, I, I, you know, I'm not that prideful where I need to come back, where I know I won't need to come back to fix it. I, I know that I'm going to make a mistake somewhere and I'm not going to need to come back. So I just don't do it. Okay. But those of you out there who are that skilled, have at it, have at it. I'm here for the new quilters to get them on our path and into our craft, okay? So, well, I'm gonna put this strip together and when we come back, we're gonna put it on the wall, okay? Okay, before we go to the wall, we gotta press it out, okay? So, we've got our strip on, all right? We put all our pieces together, right? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Not bad, not bad. So now we're gonna press it out, all right? Let's get my iron here. I'm gonna put, crease, put my, um, press my seams out there ok 
can. So you got to remember where you are. I mean, I, look, this, I love the kaleidoscope. I don't know what it is, but it is a close second to, you know it, the New York Beauty. I'll, the New York Beauty is my favorite of all time, but the kaleidoscope is definitely in the running. All right, so one of the other things that, that you know, keep me happy and enjoying quilting is, you know, how so many colorful prints can be used. I love color. And, you know, if, if it has anything to do with a bland color or something dull, you know, you can count me out. It's just, it's, that's just not me. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and throw this on the wall. All right. So we got our strip done, right? And we're going to put it on the wall. All right. So as you can see from the wall behind me, I've been, I've been going because I know you guys are already, probably already done with it, but you know, I got to continue making content with this particular quilt. So here we go. You can see this strip was already done, right? See this strip right here? I've done all the other strips and I put them together. These strips are done and they're put together, but I saved this for you. So this would go here, right? And then I would pin it. Come down here, then I pin it. Here, pin it. Here, pin it. All right. And then what I would do is I'm going to take this bottom strip right here, this strip that we just did, put them together. And then once these two are together, I'll attach them to the upper half. And then we'll attach the upper half to the bottom half. And then we are done with the quilt top. Okay. Well, what we're done when it comes to that, all right? Because we still got work to do, all right? Because uh, once we get them together, we get two halves together, we're gonna cut these edges off, all right? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a border on it. I haven't decided what border yet, but we'll border it. And we may do something in the border. I may put a, um, I may put a hexagon in the border itself. So it's out, so it seems like it's out floating on its own. And then we'll be done, I think, okay? And then we're going to send it, we'll send this to my buddy, Andrew, up at, at the Combat Quilter. Hey, if you're not watching him, go check him out. All right. That's my brother. I love him to death. And I think he's the most knowledgeable person on quilting itself. Like if you ask him about a thread, he's going to know how many times it's been twisted, what roll it came off of. Who's the person that actually put it in a truck to come to you? I mean, this guy knows what he's talking about. So please go to his channel and subscribe to the Combat Quilter. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.